51st State of Mind Item Number SCP-1328 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The area affected by SCP-1328 is to be monitored closely for any subjects affected by SCP-1328. Located subjects are to be detained, issued amnestics, and returned to their point of origin. Their time displaced shall be covered up on a case-by-case -case basis. Witnesses to SCP-1328 manifestation events are also to be issued amnestics. If SCP-1328's anomalous properties are reported to local governing bodies, embedded Foundation agents are to suppress the reports and issue amnestics to all witnesses. Affected documentation is to be stored within Site-77's anomalous documentation archive. Description Slated for revision See Addenda 05-2 SCP-1328 is a phenomenon affecting the eastern portion of the state of Tennessee in the U.S. Between August of 1784 and December of 1785, it was a territory known as Franklin. The territory was dissolved following this time and did not display anomalous properties until at least 1866. Occasionally, maps, books, and other cartographic references will begin listing SCP-1328 as being part of another country, adding an extra state to their maps. These maps will not show SCP-1328 as being geographically attached to these nations, showing its physical location within the U.S. Documents affected by SCP-1328 will usually go into detail about how it was an important part of the nation's cultural history. Persons reading these documents will be convinced of its status and history, often attempting to show as many other subjects as possible, and spreading SCP-1328's effect. Affected subjects may begin identifying themselves as residents of SCP-1328 and attempt to navigate to it over land. No matter how far the subject originally was from SCP-1328, they will arrive in one of its cities two to three hours after departure. Observation of affected subjects shows that they, and whatever vehicle they are operating, appear to fall into a chasm, which suddenly emerge below them, followed by an emergence in SCP-1328. Subjects from different nations may encounter each other, which can cause confusion and anger due to SCP-1328's effect. Subjects will describe SCP-1328 as a disputed territory and insist that their nation has a stronger claim to it. This effect has led to local conflicts, as subjects affected by SCP-1328 attempt to terminate persons with perceptions that conflict with their own. This has escalated into small-scale guerrilla conflicts prior to containment. SCP-1328 was discovered in 1866 by a foundation precursor known as the American Secure Containment Initiative. Originally believed to be a transportation anomaly, these subjects were returned to their homes. After the subjects returned, interviews were conducted and the anomalous effects established. As of August 17, 1887, SCP-1328 has been contained. Following its inheritance from the American Secure Containment Initiative, it was classified as an SCP object and given the Euclid classification. Addendum Original Documentation Item Number 1866-098 Classification Type Geographic slash non-threatening. ASCI protocols for containment. All men or women found to be situated within the area are to be expediently returned to their place of dwelling, with foreigners turned over to local magistrates as illegal aliens. Reports of the phenomenon are to be collected with our archive for additional study. Description. Phenomenon 1866-098 is a phenomenon affecting 12 of the counties within East Tennessee. On occasion, Persons from other parts of the country and world as a whole will be deposited into it and claim it to be a part of their country of origin. Once cleared of their confusion, they will usually persist in attempts to return home the way they entered, which is not possible. When first discovered, over 20 Hessians, a Briton, and a Cherokee Indian were found living in it. Further observation of this effect is ongoing. Addendum Profile of subjects affected by SCP-1328 Description of Subject 65-year-old Caucasian male Country of Origin Canada Perception of SCP-1328 Subject believed that SCP-1328 had been won by Canada during the War of 1812, and that the Americans living within the territory were illegal immigrants from North Dakota. 
repeatedly attempted to report neighbors to the local police and start numerous instances of harassment, was issued a Class C amnestic and returned home. Description of Subject 22-year-old Hispanic male Country of origin El Salvador Perception of SCP-1328 Perceived that SCP-1328 was a region within his home country where more upper-class citizens resided and claimed to be attempting to visit relatives in the region. Further investigation revealed that several other El Salvadorian citizens had been residing within SCP-1328. All subjects were detained, issued Class C amnestics, and returned to their homes. Description of Subject 19-year-old African male Country of origin Somalia Perception of SCP-1328 Subject behaved like a raider, attempting to enter SCP-1328 and retrieve supplies for his militia organization. Claimed that SCP-1328 was part of his home country, held by an opposing group, and that he was attempting to destabilize their power in the region. Subject is currently being held by Foundation personnel, awaiting decision of where to return him. Description of Subject 40-year-old Caucasian male Country of origin Prussia Perception of SCP-1328 Discovered during initial containment, Subject appeared to be an officer in the Prussian army. Believed to be instanced by the ASCI, he was given to local law enforcement. No further records have been found to corroborate his status past this. German records indicate that his study was found to be filled with cartography equipment, maps, and travel supplies, and he was reported as a defector. Addendum Excerpt of a speech given by Michael Sen, a leader in the militia organization, Regular Alliance Troop. We do not take these incursions into our territory by the wretched alliance of the United States, Canada, North Korea, Mexico, Sealand, and Bavaria lightly. They are violations of our sovereignty and a national embarrassment. Franklin is a storied part of our cultural history, down to the beginning of our forefathers. They journeyed far to create it and built the great underground superhighway with only sweat and broken bodies. When those men who super-travel under the Atlantic top stage our right to this territory tell us that it belongs to them, it is a slap in the face. Further escalation of the situation from any other nation will lead to negative action, possibly even a resolution within the United Nations to settle the matter. Sin and his staff were given Class B amnestics, and all copies of the broadcast were suppressed. An additional 546 civilians in the city of redacted, were issued Class C amnestics after reporting the broadcast on social networking sites. Additionally, several homes located in SCP-1328 that were marked as belonging to the Red Actors Troop were demolished. One instance of SCP-039 was discovered at this location. Addendum On November 2nd, 2016, all subjects affected by SCP-1328 began manifesting a delusion that they were citizens of the Russian Federation. Amnestic treatments have been unable to alter this belief. In addition, most affected subjects appear to be displaying signs of cognitive dissonance, with erratic and unpredictable behaviors resulting.